you know before the first t20 at the feroz shah kotla stadium which is now the arun jetli stadium bangladesh had never defeated india in a single t20 international in the history of t20 cricket and in the end it took a massive gas chamber at new delhi for the bangladeshis to get out of jail and that is what makes a rajkot t20 so interesting because the indians are not used to situations like these they are not used to being in do or die situations at home and i'm really excited to see how rohit sharma and his men respond bangladesh on the other hand are very determined the wicket keeper batsman mushfiqur rahim in a latest press conference clearly stated that bangladesh is here to win the series and they're going to do whatever it takes at rajkot to seal it right there the indians on the other hand are in no mood to press the panic button and i think that's the right thing to do yuzvendra chahal in his latest press conference clearly stated that anybody could have a bad day at office the indians admit that they had a bad day at new delhi but they also believe that they are a much better side than that and they're all set to come back higher stronger brighter come thursday come rajkot the indians are ready to take on bangladesh on thursday So are the Indians going to make any changes to their playing 11? Let's have a look. There's absolutely no doubt that India will start with Rohit Sharma, their skipper alongside Shikhar Dhawan. You know, if Rohit Sharma stays there for 15 overs, I can sign it and I can seal it right now. 180 plus guaranteed. Uh, he just needs to hang in there a little and then explode like he usually does. Uh, Shikhar Dhawan, I think you did uh, absolutely fine. as far as uh, the delhi t20 is concerned uh, because if you look at dhawan he was a he was at a bit of a decline uh, before the delhi odi his past 8 innings uh, didn't fetch him a lot of runs but uh, at his home ground i'm glad that he regained his form having said that dhawan i just have one request from you change the gear a little quicker uh, take a bit more advantage of the power play because rohit sharma takes some time to settle in and you are the one who needs to be the aggressor then at number 3 you know i did a blog before the delhi t20 as well and i said at number 3 my heart says sanju samson and my mind says kl rahul and i'm going to repeat that statement clearly because uh, the kind of captain rohit sharma is i feel he like to back his players a little more and considering kl rahul has only got one audition in this t20 series i feel Kel will uh, be India's man at number three. At number four, my man Shreya Sayer, you have to be there. And India, please hang in there with Shreya Sayer. I think he's doing great at number four. If you look at the Delhi T20 as well, he's the only one who exploded in those all-important middle overs when it's uh, the hardest to score runs. I think Ayer did a great job there. At number five. I'm going to go in with Rishabh Pant. I'm not going to say a lot about Rishabh Pant because I feel the young man is at, as it is under a lot of pressure. When he does well, the world talks about him. When he doesn't do well, the world still talks about him. Pant, I'm just going to sit back, relax and enjoy all the talent you have to offer because uh, you're phenomenal when on song Rishabh Pant. Right? Number 6, I am going to play uh, Washington Sundar, I beg your pardon. Krunal Pandya is my man at number six. Uh, his handy spin bowling and uh, the meaty blows which he could provide at the end. I think Krunal Pandya is my man at number six. At number seven, I'm going to play Shivam Dube. Yes, he failed in the first T20. He's a young man. I think uh, it'll kill his confidence if you drop him now. Please stick to Shivam Dube at number seven. At number eight, I'm going to play Washington Sundar. You beauty, the way you came in, exploded, the way you bowled in the power play. I think uh, you deserve to be there. At number nine, I'm going to play Deepak Chahar. He's uh, a much improved T20 bowler, especially since the time he's started to play under Mahendra Singh Dhoni in Chennai Super Kings. I think Deepak Chahar uh, provides uh, the early breakthrough uh, more. then uh, what we expect from him and i think uh, deepak chahar is going to be my man at number 9 number 10 i'll play yuzvendra chahal he uh, has experience which a lot of people around him in this current indian team don't at the moment and i think uh, yuzvendra chahal's role in the mid overs is all the more crucial at number 11 is it going to be kalil amar is it going to be shardul thakur is it going to be kalil amar is it going to be shardul thakur i think i will go for shardul thakur there uh, primarily because um, it's a knockout game for india it's a do or die game for india and india would like to have that experience of shardul thakur uh, in their ranks uh, so shardul thakur is going to be my man at number 
What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Do you agree with my playing 11? Or uh, do you have something else in mind? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, do let me know if you agree with my playing 11 or if you have something else in mind. Uh, let's hope in the end, ladies and gentlemen, that India makes it one all. Come Thursday, come Rajkot, India absolutely kills it. Uh, my name is Ishan Sharma. And if you enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon. And uh, don't forget to comment with your playing 11.